Azra. Exploring, looting, and securing intel will open access to missions and targets. Expect resistance from local forces and watch for other operators in the AO. What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And we're playing Call of Duty DMZ. So, nine times out of ten, I come into this mode without a weapon. Nine times out of ten. And that's because when I run somebody over, like you're about to see, I'm going to pick up their weapon. And then usually what I try to do is I try to eliminate an HVT with that weapon and pick up their weapon. And boom, that's an upgrade. Also, what I've learned from this game mode is search each building. You got to, because these little first aid kits right here, sometimes they can have revive pistols and or self uh, revival kits. That's, I think that's what you call them. And those are basically second chances at life. So, I know I was awkwardly holding an RPG in my hand just now. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason indeed. So, you remember how I keep telling you all that faction missions are really important? We need those objectives to secure mission progress. Like that? Move to extraction. Basically, I need to take on bandages. That's one of the missions. But anyways, there's another mission called Junker. Which, in which I need to uh, destroy what like six vehicles and I've and I already destroyed some of them right but I didn't do it myself I didn't have an RPG it was a SAM site a surface to air missile site that did it for me so I said to myself next time I come on to this game mode I'm gonna see how powerful a SAM really is so I pull up to this SAM site right and I'm about to get out because you know Call of Duty and that's not AI those are two players and I say to myself yeah I'm not stopping I'm not stopping don't matter if they only got pistols it's still a 2v1 fight so while I'm driving I'm searching for another SAM site and luckily enough there is going to be one further down the map but I didn't realize it yet but also, there's going to be a target of opportunity approaching here. Remember how I kept that RPG in the back of my hand as I run into a railroad uh, signal there? There's a helicopter right there in front of me. All I'm going to say is, shout out to Battlefield 4 for this. I didn't hit the helicopter. I hit a person. When I say person, I mean AI. Exfil with those objectives to secure faction mission progress. To those of you who have played Tom Clancy's The Division 1, not 2, but the first one, remember in the dark zone, dark zone, excuse me, when you had to destroy AI before looting the landmark? Well, this is exactly like that. I found another SAM site, right? But look who's guarding it. There's about freaking, there's a lot of people there.
difference between this game and the Division 1 is you don't have no skills. You can't put down no medic bag and pick yourself back up. You need to find or buy a self revive kit or a revival pistol. Because those two things will literally give you a second chance at life. Which is what you just seen just now. Yeah, these guys want me to take out stem charges on my exfil. Now, a weapon case is the equivalent of an airdrop and vigor if you play that. So, you know, pretty important. Now, this is capturing a SAM site, as the game just said. Enemy players know where you're at because you know this loud ass sound and it appears on their map. So, you're not in the clear. You're not. You gotta sit here and guard a damn thing. And it is now under my control. Right about now. Sam's site is online. We control the airspace. Ultra One, actual. Supply drop. Missile out. Positive impact. Aircraft destroyed. Cargo is marked on your attack map. So, that Sam site is still underneath my control. And the entire reason as to why I did that is because I think getting uh, supply drops is how you get better weapons. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm open to uh, uh, criticism. And this caught me by surprise. Attack Hilo is down. Scavenge the crash site for any supplies. That Hilo was carrying a boss, and my SAM site shot down the Hilo. And the game said, Well, the boss went down because you shot down a helicopter with your SAM. You get credit for that. So I'm looking through this airdrop right now, and I'm like, Okay, M16, and apparently kill streaks as well. So I'm going to take all that. So, where is the boss at? Right about here. So, let's get ourselves a gas can, because we need it for the mission. And see what that aerodrop has to offer. I'm telling you, AI in this game, they're everywhere. Ultra One, we lost control of the SAM site. Close air is unavailable in your grid. And that's fine, because this is apparently the airdrop of all airdrops. What's in it, you may ask? Well, this very expensive classified document and a golden skull that's worth 12 grand. Yeah. Now, you know. If this was my, like, first minute out and I found this aerodrop, I would be really excited. But it's not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to both of these things and try to manage my inventory to where I can take home stem charges and gas cans. That's the plan. But, the thing is, though, plans don't always go, well, according to plan. Especially when you ruin your own plan because you get greedy and want a better weapon. Enemy operators extracted a weapons case. Ultra One, we have PID on the wanted Los Alamos smuggler Romero. Marking his location on your track maps. You have execute authority.
Tiger 1, HVP is down. Move in and confirm the kill. ID confirmed on Romero. Transferring payment now. That's cool and all. It is. But did you catch my mistake? Well, you probably wouldn't call it a mistake unless you think exactly like me. Both of the guns I have right now are ticking up the same ammunition pool. So I basically just, you know, limited myself. And I walked right into a gas station where there's a shit ton of AI, didn't think to stop and check first. And I'm about to burn one of my revival pistols. My only revival pistol. So now I gotta shoot my way out of this with this M16, knowing that this is all I got. Cool, I got I mean I know I got a second weapon. But if I don't extract with this damn weapon, I'm gonna be SOL. So, you know, gas can, faction mission. Objectives to secure mission progress. Cool. Move to extraction. And luckily for me, I find a self revival kit. But I gotta trade it in for something. And so I trade it in, and I'll drop some more ammunition. And I get some more cash. Now, am I gonna leave and stop being greedy? Well, yes and no. I'm trying to sell the stuff that I have in my backpack and make some more room for some more supplies. But. That cell station was surrounded by AI. So now I believe I'm gonna make a run for this here exfil and get the hell out of here. So I've been around the block a few times and I know a red flag when I spot one. That white SUV, that's not an AI controlled car. And how it's facing, it looked like somebody was driving, then got out, and left the truck right there. So that's how I'm circling around right now, because I'm like, is somebody still here? Are they? Now, new topic, right? And this is hella important, because I learned this the hard way. Twice. Do not wait for radiation to expand. Exfil before radiation hits. Why is that important? Well, whenever radiation starts expanding, there's only one exfiltration site on the entire map. All the squads go there to try to leave. Get out before radiation spreads. Exactly. Get the hell out of the map before that timer on the left hand side of your screen beneath your map goes to zero. Because once it does, the other two extraction points disappear from the map. And you only got one, and you're guaranteed to meet somebody there. Guaranteed. And in my case, because you know I'll play solo, I usually die. Because it's 3v1, and they have on body armor. Because, you know, they help each other and shit like that. But, I learned my lesson now. I learned it now. So, overall, what did I learn from this here deployment? Well, Sam sites are the MVP number one and number two you don't need to have an lt what uh v the freaking humvee with a turret on it you don't need that thing to survive you don't just remember to try to avoid ai and get your stuff done that's what i've learned and also third thing don't drive far you seen I got lit up on that quad bike by AI. Imagine what a player can do to me. Imagine. So take a car or a vehicle, but only take it for short trips and then leg it afterwards. Because I think the AI is coded to hear things. And whenever they hear you're a loud ass on a vehicle, they'll light you up. They'll let you up indeed. So I'm gonna speak on these weapons real quick and possibly elaborate more in a future video. 
But you see how I'm getting all these experience points on these weapons? Wouldn't it be nice if I can use them? Well, technically I can. Technically. Just gotta get through these uh, calling cards. And this to I don't know what this token is. I don't know what this does at all. I'm assuming it's a season pass token. So. You see this M16 in my hand, right? This is the same M16 that I just got from the field. And I want to put it away. So, how do I do that? Weapons and unequip. If you don't do this, you're going to take out the exact same weapon that you did. Well, the, the exact same weapon you just came back with. And you don't want to do that. Because once you unequip it, guess what? It goes into your contraband. And though these weapons down here, they're contraband. As in, you can equip them if you want to, but if you die with them, they're gone forever. And check this out. My insured slot is on cooldown. Well, how do I reduce, how do I reduce the cooldown? You bring home cash and valuables. That reduces the cooldown. So there's that. Now... As far as modding the guns that you have down here, you can do that. But I'm going to show you that in a later video. I don't want to, you know, overload your brain right now. But just know, the weapons you bring back home, make sure you unequip them and keep them in a contraband slot. Because on your next encounter or next deployment, if you want to use a weapon that you bought home from like three deployments ago, you can. Stay tuned.